Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back. As you guys can tell by my lovely background and probably either terrible audio or terrible video, let's make sure you guys can see me as always. But I am back, back nonetheless, at the Polar North at my house in North Dakota. It means we should have no problems with internet this week when we cover a workflow Wednesday. So, Hey guys, we've changed things up. I've been working on a project for about the last month that I wanted to bring to you guys after I've seen you all. I've visited a lot of you in person, but I've always noticed an ongoing trend in the industry. That being said is I want to introduce a product that we are releasing here at JIT CAD Cam called O-Scrap Shop Management Tool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a high level look at this. And if you guys have questions at any time, I'm happy to answer them. You guys want to let me know down in chat can you hear me can you see me quite well i always want to know uh stuart awesome from the uk that brings up a good point so i wanted to say this but am i considered world famous now since i get guys from the uk i've had guys from australia i've had people from all over the world you know come to these live streams or watch my content so i think i can take the claim to fame that fusion phil is technically world famous at the end of the day Awesome. Stuart has confirmed it, guys. We are world famous. So let's go ahead. I'm going to start sharing my screen. Like I said, if you guys have questions at any time down in chat, you guys want more info, there's an info email down below where you can reach out and we can work together much closer on this actual project that I have. So let's pull up my screen here. So the first thing you guys are going to notice is one, this is a shop management tool that we have built. Each and every one of you out there have brought to the table the same problems. Everybody is using spreadsheets. You know, there's 10 different spreadsheets where you might not know what's going on in your shop. There's a lot of missed deadlines, or as you can tell, oh, scrap is funny because it's like, oh, crap. But scrapped parts, lost in production, things like that. So I'm going to walk you through a little bit of what we have here. And I like to start out at the highest level, which is one, we're going to go to settings, and this is where we're going to control a lot of what we're going to do. So for example here is the first thing I want to do is I want to create a couple of work centers. And what these work centers are basically going to be for most of you, especially you job shop guys, there's a special place in my heart for you guys, and this is why we're building this. But I'm just going to plug in, for example, what my machine is and you know what is my hourly rate on this machine. So again, I could add a couple of machines here. Let's say we're going to go UMC 1000. You guys can guess I've been playing around with this quite a bit, having to troubleshoot and debug. Same thing goes here is we can actually work center group. This is something we're going to bring to the table a little later. But if you wanted to add a work center group here, let's say we want our mills. Actually, let's edit that real quick. We're going to say three axis mills. And my OCD is going to get the best of me if I don't make things match. Oh, in this case, let's go ahead and delete that and recreate. So what you guys are seeing is, again, we're in the early stages of releasing something like this. So you do have bugs from time to time that we're going to iron out over the day. So again, five axis mills. And as you guys are seeing here is I have the full freedom to be able to go in and set things up based on grouping them. Again, you're going to see a bigger picture here in a minute where we can look at our information a little differently. Let's go ahead and give this a few more things. Let's say we have a saw, saw's running us about 40 an hour. Again, I'm just giving you guys a good idea of what's going on. So is this like a fusion production? So I, I can't really say that it is, it's similar, but not identical, right? Again, the idea here is to give you guys what I'm gonna call a very watered down ERP, right? actually been in discussions of like for most of you out there like yourself Stuart you're running something probably like QuickBooks for your bookkeeping and payroll you don't want to mess with that we rather integrate to that push and pull your inventory and do things outside of that side of the software and again we're going to have more releases of this as we go but now that I've plugged in a couple of work center for you guys I'm going to go ahead and jump over to our estimator so actually we're going to need to plug in a couple of customers so let's do the same thing here again real quick um Let's say, you know what, Stuart, I'm going to put you on blast and you're going to live forever now in this video. And we're just going to say that's sd at gmail.com. Again, what you guys are seeing me do is basically inputting my customer data. Again, thinking about an integration, the idea is we're going to push and pull this information from your QuickBooks. If you're using QuickBooks, 
also integrate to other actual ERP systems and things of that nature. But what that allows me to do is when I go in, and you know what, Stuart, I'm just going to keep picking on you, man. You're going to be my customer that we're going to create a quote for, right? You are. You are famous now, too. Technically world famous because the people in the U.S. and all the other people that are to watch this video over the weekend are going to get this. But Stuart, you got a part number for your part. It's one, two, three, four. Maybe you call it a dog bone. And the idea is, is we wanted to build a system for you to quote parts in a very quick fashion, right? So one thing is, is let's get into the operations. What are operations and why do we have operations? As you're seeing here is the idea is you can actually route. My fingers are getting a little faster than I can type. What it's gonna take to actually make these parts. So actually I'm gonna back this up because we wanna put it on the saw first. That's only gonna take 10 minutes to set up. And then maybe it's gonna be, you know, two minutes per part. But what you're looking at here is the ability generate a price right so we're still estimating but the idea is is with this estimating setup is i am recalculating and building my costing to estimate this part all while actually routing this through my shop floor now this is very important i say routing a lot of you guys know operations as you're seeing here 10 20 30 40 if you've ever used an erp system this is exactly how they tend to work except they're a pain in the ass to do exactly this right so keep in mind, I do have to let you guys know, pre-warning, we do have a bug right now and we're trying to straighten it out based on our pricing roll-up. But the idea is you guys are seeing down here at the bottom is with the exception of this terrible prices, we are gonna roll up these prices to give you those accurate quotes. Again, front-loading your shop and being able to see things like capacity. So again, the nice thing is, is if your customer ever comes back and says, you know what, I want 30 parts. As you guys can see, the math here is working quite well. Down here at the bottom, if I needed to actually add in like 1.5 inch round bar, again, we're going to need two of those. Maybe they're running $145 a piece. And I'm actually going to order those from, say, Arlo. So again, as you guys see, I wanted to build a system for you to not only be able to quote very quickly, as you're seeing me plug in this information, but being able to take this information after you get approval for other things. So we're gonna go say anodizing is gonna cost $65. I actually wanna mark it up 15%. And whoever your anodizer is, again, what you guys are seeing down here at the bottom, you are seeing the math work. And I gotta give you the full disclaimer. There is a bug and that bug is actually caused by a change in our system, but we are straightening this out as we talk. So what does this mean? Well. Once you get your quote and everything, obviously we could dump this as a PDF. We could save this. The long-term goal is to roll our estimates from our estimator onto a quote to package it for your customer. But where does it go from there, right? So now your customer gives you approval and it comes back from here. And with that, you can go ahead and say is on the job board side of things, this is where we convert our quote into jobs. And then lastly, from there, we're also gonna have things built out with a schedule. Again, you're gonna be able to build this to your tailored experience, looking at it maybe from a work center, the roll up of when it's due, as you can see here again, with the fun of being able to play with databases, we're way overdue on this job, but getting inside of here at your actual worker level and being able to start and stop your production, claiming your different parts along the way. And of course, you have the hierarchy of what's not been worked on, what needs to be done before anything else, and of course, what's gonna end up inside of shipping. So as you can see, again, this is a super high level for you guys. I don't see a lot of questions. I see a lot of you coming and going. We are in the beta stage of releasing this actual software out, and we are looking for a lot of you guys out there that are wanting to come in and bring some knowledge to the table, Provide us some of those spreadsheets and the different things that you're doing that may be unique to your workflow. Because again, as we do have an outstanding, how can you say it? It's a roadmap of all kinds of ideas we have lined up to add to this. But you guys have the ability at any time to jump in and actually notify us using the link down below to either get signed up on a pre-order or you can email us at the info email address and let us know that we have that ability to reach out to you again with that tailored experience. We are looking to launch this thing by the beginning of March. So again, guys, I'm gonna leave you to it. I am Fusion Phil over here at JetCAD Cam. 
Let me know what you think down in the comments if this is something you think that is valuable to you or if we're completely wasting our time. We don't mind hearing it either way. But as always, guys, have a great rest of your week. I'm going to see you guys on, uh, on free support Friday later this week. So if you do have questions or want to know more, feel free to ask me later this week. Thanks, guys.